Macaulay's great-grandfather. Now, Fred Lacey was born August 1st, 1889, and in some things they have in 1891, and he died December 13th, 18, no, I'm sorry, December 13th, 1980, at the age of 90 years old. Fred Lacey married a woman by the name of Mary E. Clemens, Clemens being her maiden name, Lacey, born January 31st, 1900, died December 29th, 1975, at the age of 75 years old. Well, they had several children, and one of their children just happened to be Javon Juan Lacey, which is Megan's great-grandfather, but we are talking about her great-great-grandfather, Fred Lacey. Now, I also found a registration card for Fred Lacey, where I think he said he was 52, 53 years old, which means that this was in 1941, and at that time, Javon Juan Lacey, I think, was maybe like 14 years old. Fred and Mary's son, Javon, was not the only one to serve in the military. They also had a son by the name of Thomas Lacey, where I ended up finding a form that was the U.S. Army Transport Service Arriving and Departing Passenger List mm. from 1910-1939, stating Lacey Thomas as a private, and he lists his father, Lacey Williams, as a person to contact, and he said that he lived in Dime Box, Texas. Now, the reason why this caught my attention is because when I was looking at the form and I looked at the top of the form, I noticed that it said 816th, Pioneer Infantry, and then someone wrote in the word color and underlined it. So I said, oh, wait a minute. This is the 816th colored infantry that Megan's great-great-granduncle served in. In a 2020 interview with Vibe Magazine and Marie Claire, Megan speaks on her father, Joseph Pete, and says... I thought my dad was the coolest man on the planet. He was so clean and so gangster. He would pick me up from school, and I remember riding around with my dad feeling cool. My dad was definitely my best friend. But for the first eight years of my life, he was in jail. When he got out, though, we were together every day. I saw how he treated my mom, and I saw how he treated me. I have so many strong, positive influences. I'm not going to lower my standards. Megan doesn't speak about her father that much, but when she does, she has called him a hustler. Now, when she said hustler, I was like, okay, now what does that mean? Does that mean that he was in a gang? Does that mean that he was selling drugs? People, I don't know. But what I do know is that as far back as the age of 19, he was definitely in and out of jail. When I say in and out of jail, what does that mean? Well, remember that his birthday is August 2nd, 1965. And in November of 84, when he was 19 years old, there was charges brought up for burglary of a vehicle, which was a third degree felony. And he was sentenced to 10 years Texas Department of Correction time. Now I said 10 years? Did he have to do the whole 10? Did he have to do five people? I don't know. But then in February of 85, when he was 20 years old, he had aggravated a 